So this is the second video talking about Altrix, uh, the adventure game, and we're gonna have a look at these dice. These are your companion cubes throughout the game, but they are not only that. These um, dictate your life. This is the flow of things going through uh, the world of Altrix, uh, uh, pushing you this or that way. Uh, they are used in a number of different ways. We have uh, skill checks, which is, well, not very uh, particularly fancy, but here is a ghost that you might encounter uh, when you draw an adventure card. It says that you should roll at least 13 with uh, 3d6 plus your, um, plus your attention, perception, sorry. And then you, well, roll and see what happens. In this case, you actually managed to pass this uh, ghost and uh, unscathed. That's nice. Uh, used in a number of different ways. We have, for example, movement. When you move, you roll three die and see how many equal you get. So this means one step because you only have one of each result. If I would have, say, this instead, I would, uh, it could go at most two steps on this board here. One, two things like that. And uh, something important is leveling up. If you manage to get three of a kind, a triplet, when using one of your skills or when moving a, uh, do, doing a movement roll, you can level up if the roll is higher than your current skills. So if this was a roll for 100 weapons, you would actually level up, which is very good because eventually then uh, become strong enough to fight the evil sorcerers, which is kind of the aim of the game. There's a secret, uh, secret purpose as well, which we'll get to. And well, this is kind of makes you. Well, let's talk about that in the next video. Uh, more interesting things happen than when we look at these flux crystals. See you there.